Hey guys, how are you all going? I'm so sorry in the lack of videos that this week I'm finally being able to upload a video because the freaking internet was down. Now, before we get into this, it's a rant video about internet and the man that works in the freaking tower up there somewhere, I don't know. Anyways, I think it was either two, Monday or Tuesday afternoon, my internet completely wiped, it went. Like, there was no connection, there was no nothing. So I rang up and I asked this, this, I got a really nice person actually. And she was Australian. Oh my god, I rang Big Pond and there was an Australian on the other end. OMG. That's once in a blue moon you will find an Australian on the other end of a phone call to Telstra or Big Pond. And... I was dumbfounded. I was like, oh my god, you're Australian. She was like, uh, yeah. She thought I was a lunatic. Seriously, I'm pretty sure she thought I was stupid. But anyways, I was so furious up until today about my freaking internet. Are you ready for this? It's so stupid. Like, I'm sorry. I was over it. So, in the area that I live in, the internet went down. Not everywhere. Just pretty much. Five other people's places, probably more, I don't know. But I rang up and I'm like, hey, I'm just calling up about my home internet. It's down at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. And I'll like say, what is your password? What is your username? What is your da 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 da? And I'm seriously, I did this for four days. Four freaking days. I rang Telstra every single day because I needed my internet. And they had no idea how long the tower would be down or freaking so on and so forth. How long the man would be up there for. I don't know, but he should fucking sleep up there. I'll tell you. I was so pissed off. Anyways, on the second day, I rang up and I got this freaking Indian. No offense, no racism here. But I got this Indian and... He asked me the same questions, my password, my username, who the account holder was, and thank God my dad let me be on the account as well. <sighs> and I had to go through the whole thing and to be told the exact same thing that I was told the day before that. And that the tower was down and there was no way of getting internet. I seriously am so addicted to my internet. It's horrible. I was so cranky for days about not having internet. And the freaking man, how long does it take to fix a freaking tower? The power man can fix a light bulb in an hour. The internet person has like three freaking years to fix a line that goes up into the tower or some shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? But, yeah, I came home today from being over town and I turned my box on, I turned my box off, I turned my box on and nothing happened and I was like, the fuck. Anyways, I came in, I went and I thought, I'll just try it on the computer and it said techno colour configuration or some shit, connect. So I pressed connect and it connected. I danced around the room like no other, I was like, so happy and oh, I'm so happy the internet's back on. It's amazing. But I was so pissed off with that little man up there in the tower. How long it would take him to fix the internet line, I have no idea. But God, it took forever. It took like three to four days and I was like, and I rang them every day and they asked me the same questions and they're like, sorry ma'am, we can't help you but and I'm like, far out. And then when you get on the phone to them, does this happen to you? You act really nice to them. When you get off, you want to rip their heads off, like, kill them? It happens to me all the time. I don't know why. They must put a potion on you through the phone or something. I don't know. So, yeah, that was my experience with Big Pond. And, yeah, I tweeted on on Twitter about I was so pissed off I was at my wit's end that there was no internet and the other person kept to message me back but they did 
asking what was wrong because I already knew what was wrong, but that still equated me back asking for my details so that could help me. And I was like, oh my god, don't care, I'm over it. But ah, oh, just, ugh. so frustrating, and yeah. So has this ever happened to you? I don't know, but this was a huge rant that probably didn't make any sense to you whatsoever, but it made me feel better. <laughs> so yeah, so that was my venting over and out. So leave a comment below if this has ever happened to you and they hold, oh my god, they put me on hold for a million years. Like, I was so frustrated. I'm pretty sure I was on the phone to them every single day for like an hour just for being put on hold. But I knew exactly by the second day what was going on and there was still no internet. But now there is, so yay. And it better keep working otherwise I'm going to stress out so bad. So yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>